Can we go? Can we get up? Come on. Come on. There's literally nothing I can do if you're laying down. Are we going? Come on. I'm walking. Follow me. Let's go. What's up, Bucky? Bucky is going to a new home today. Somebody's coming to buy him. Gosh. I never have to lock you up again like that because it's very annoying. Oh, it's beautiful out today. Yesterday was so smoky. But you can always tell because if the sun is super bright you can, s and you can't stare at the sun, then it's not so bad. But when it's really smoky, the sun turns like pink and you can just stare at it. It's crazy. But the trees in the distance are a little smoky, but not bad. It's beautiful out here. This morning I sold Bucky. He is gone. He was sweet. He was he, he did well, but I just have no need for a calf on my property. I wanted just Hosanna. Um, and she's okay to be by herself since I'm out there with her twice a day. Um, she'll be okay. And then pretty soon, nine more months, I guess, she'll have another calf. Um, or I could buy a bottle baby. I don't know, we'll see what she needs. Oh, gross. You see all those? You can hear them. It's fly season. Disgusting. Ugh. They're all in my house too. Okay, I gotta get these out of the sun. They are all clean. Let's uh, put sand on them. The ones in here are ones that I'm gonna put on the top because either they're like a little like that I still want to store it, but I'll put it on top so we use it first. Alright, so I brought it into the shop where, well, I mean, it's not going to be able to stay here for long. They're going to have to move it eventually, but hopefully I won't have to move it <laughs> because this is going to be heavy filled with carrots and sand. So I got the first layer down, then I'm going to get, add sand on top. Um, normally I would just go get sand by the river, but we had these bags of sand and that's what we're going to use. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cover that top with sand and then keep layering. All right. This top row would be the fifth row. I ran out of sand, um, cause you can see that row underneath them. I need to get more sand. So I'll probably go to the river and get some more, but five rows of carrots, 37 pounds in here. It's not a whole lot. I was like, no, oh, it's like a pound a week in the winter. Which is only a couple of carrots. Because <laughs> I know this blue bowl, when it's like kind of stacked and heaping, it holds 10 pounds. So, well, we'll see how long the short term storage of carrots get us through. But other than that, 37 pounds is a whole lot. I think I need to plant more carrots next year. <laughs> oh dear. Things just keep getting bigger. I know for sure I'm going to be tilling up more plots at the end of this season. I'm going to get somebody with a tractor to come do it. Um, because I would love to plant a dent corn and, and do a lot of it. So that a dent corn is what you use. So there's popcorn, sweet corn, and dent corn. Dent corn is used for flour. Um, Popcorn obviously is used for popping, but you can also use it for flour. And then sweet corn is used for eating. Um, I mean, I guess you can use it for flour. I don't know about how it would taste because it's a sweet corn for flour. I don't know, but it's generally used for eating fresh. So what you see in like farmer's fields, those are all like a dent corn, like a, like a feed corn. Um, so I'd grow somewhat that version. I'm taking, I got a full wheelbarrow. Wow, that's a hard word to say with these in wheel barrel wheel barrel did it <laughs> of just um carrot tops mostly i know you can eat them i don't like them so i'm not going to <laughs> they're not being wasted then my cow loves them and if she'll eat them then that is less hay that i have to buy for her so all the better for me um and I got some kohlrabi. I don't know if she'll eat the kohlrabi tops. I mean, I assume so. It's green. Sure. Um, kohlrabi that was going to seed. It never formed a bulb. So just cut it out. 
And I'm gonna take it over to her pen so she can eat it at night and then she doesn't have to eat the bale of hay. It's so expensive, it's like a hundred bucks. And I'm trying to like get it to last her at least two months. If she was just eating hay 100%, it would last like about a month. Um, and in wintertime, I don't know how long a bale of hay will last her. I have no idea. So we'll see. Why is there, oh, it's like, why is there a head of cabbage? I dropped that. Cause there's just so many bug holes in it. I was like, screw it. It's tiny. Feed it to the cow. It's great. Who needs pigs? <laughs> Okay, I finished all the carrots. They're all stored up. Uh, well, somewhat. What is that bird? You hear that? That's the weirdest sounding bird I've ever heard. Ended up being 71 pounds of carrots that I picked. Um, that doesn't include what I gave away, which was probably like 30 or so pounds. Um, and it also doesn't include what my kids have just been snacking on throughout the months but that's pretty good that's just over $80 worth of carrots 71 pounds is just over 80 bucks yeah that's $85 worth of carrots right there it's pretty good that's pretty good my tomatoes are like my biggest cash crop because uh it's $60 for 20 pounds of tomatoes at the fruit truck and that's what I'm going by because they're I mean, I'm assuming they're organic. I don't even think they're labeled organic tomatoes. But if I went to the BC fruit truck and bought 20 pounds of tomatoes, it would cost me 60 bucks. And I've gotten well over 200 pounds so far. And I've been keeping good track. And I got to go back through and pick them again. I see a lot of um, almost red ones at this point. I thought I could leave them a week. <laughs> nope. So that's awesome. I haven't gotten to my corn yet. It's not ready nor are my potatoes. So that is gonna be another big, um, I guess, cash crop. Cause yeah, between corn and potatoes and the amount that I planted can add up really fast. I'm excited. <laughs> I tallied it up, everything that I've picked so far, when there's still lots to go. Oh, that sun came out. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> um, I tallied everything up. We are sitting at what I've pulled from this garden in dollar amount of what it would cost me if I were to go buy it and that quantity. Um, we're sitting at $1,239.50. That's crazy. I think we can make it to 2000. I really do. Cause I mean, I still have all the squash out there, which squash isn't like a really expensive crop. Uh, and there's not a many. <laughs> But I do have the popcorn out there. I gotta do the corn, the sweet corn and the potatoes. I guess there's still beans and beets out there and I'm still periodically picking peppers, but it's the tomatoes that are giving me the most um, return on investment. Yeah, I'm looking at these tomatoes. There's definitely more to pick, but I just have so many on my <laughs> in my house. I just don't really have the room for more to pick. I think I'm gonna push it another day or two and try and let the ones inside ripen so that I can get them in the freezer and go from there. I still stand by planting 180 plants, okay? I'm not regretting this. <laughs> it is just a little overwhelming. <laughs> I, I need to check my corn though. Um, there's some that are definitely not ready, but some I'm like, oh, I think you're getting there. So I'm gonna go check my corn here and see what it's looking like all right yeah like it's very uh see I think it needs to be like morded I don't I haven't grown a lot of sweet corn in my lifetime this is like the second trial the very first time I grew sweet corn it was like 10 plants and it worked and it produced a lot it was great um, but it was back when I lived in the city and I had like a little garden. Oh, see, that one is huge. Whoa. Okay. That one looks down. Hey, maybe not. I don't know. Do I open them? I think I have to open them. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I opened one. Uh, it looks good-ish. <laughs> I poked it and it's like milky. I think it needs to be clear. I don't know. 
Nope, I just watched a YouTube video. Seriously, thank God for YouTube because that is how I know how to do any of this. <laughs> it's supposed to be milky, so that's done. Ah, I'm not ready. <laughs> It's like some are done and some aren't. So then like this one, that one's probably really done. And I have to pick it. Oh no. But then others are definitely not done. So I can't just like go through and harvest the whole thing. I'm not prepared for any of this. Oh my goodness. What do I do? Yeah, like that's done then. See that one? That means it's done. Don't freak out, don't freak out, it's okay. I just thought that they would all be done at the same time and I could, is it raining? What is hitting me that's wet? It is like dew. Oh, I think it's a dew from this. Like, what is raining on me? Okay, I thought that, yeah, I could just go through, take one at a time, and like pick the whole stalk, take off what is ripe, and then I would give the rest to my cow. But, like, this isn't ready. That's definitely not ready. But the other ones are. And so now I have to like sort through this whole mess and get the ready ones. Is that what everybody does? I feel like this is a lot more complicated than it should be. <laughs> I'll figure it out, I always figure it out. It's okay, it's okay, that's ready. I just have a mental breakdown over corn. I'm okay, it's just corn. <laughs> like that's ready, that's mm, maybe, not totally, but that's definitely not. Goodness, how do people do this? That's not ready. That's ready. Oh my gosh. Uh. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, yeah, no, a lot of these are ready. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? No, you don't feel ready at all. That one is though. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's just corn. It's just corn. It's a big hunk of knobs. <laughs> oh, shoot. And I want more garden next year. I'm having like a whole like midlife crisis over my corn. Mid-season crisis. That's what it is. <laughs> it's a mid-season. End of the season crisis. When everything starts to come in at once. Oh my gosh. It's happening. Okay. Okay. A lot of this is done. Oh, yeah. How do I get through all of this? <laughs> it's a whole corn maze in itself. Where do I put it? Oh my gosh. I feel like this just happened overnight. I'm gonna go check my popcorn. <laughs> it was only a few days ago that I was looking at it and I was like, oh, that's definitely not ready. And I like the popcorn because I don't have to like pick it when it's ready. It, you have to let it die on the stock, but like sweet corn is different. You have to pick it when it's ready. So it doesn't matter with popcorn if things ripen at different stages, you just leave it all to die. Really like those kinds of crops. Like oh, dried beans, awesome. I can deal with them whenever I want to deal with them. <sighs> sweet corn, apparently that just stressed me out. <laughs> Hi cow, just take a moment. Enjoy this view. <laughs> She's so pretty. Did I tell you this old Bucky? I think I did. Yeah, this morning I did. Definitely sold him. Lovely. Very pleased. Very pleased somebody wanted a Jersey steer. Like, they're useless. But she does say that she uses them for me. Well, dang. These look ready too. Not ready to pick, but like if I were to eat them, which you don't eat these ones, but if I were, they would be ready too, yeah. Yep, yeah, they're getting pink. They're getting pink. As they dry more, they'd get more pink. But dang, that went fast. Jeez, oh, let's look at this one. This one looks really good. 
see, this is weedy beyond belief, but oh well, it is what it is. Oh, I think this is one I looked at like just a few days ago. Okay, so if it's supposed to be milky white, that's definitely milky. So I guess that's like eating stage, but I want, I want dried stage. So yeah, these are ready to eat if I were to eat them, but I don't think they taste good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That got out of hand quickly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It tastes better when it's cooked, but it is good. Yeah. Almost tastes like peas. Yeah. Yeah. Can you cook it? Mm-hmm. Well, now it looks like it's gonna rain. Definitely looks like it's raining over there already. Good, I don't have to water my garden again. <laughs> Play with cat. All right, got more food that I've just brought inside. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get pickles and hot sauce done. Get the cucumbers dealt with and cayenne peppers dealt with. If you're gonna do pickles, let me go out quick before it starts raining and get some dill. Hopefully I have dill. Hmm. A mosquito. Oh, these are going to seed quite nicely. Here you go. Thank you. I'm going to love this Let me butter. smell. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. So <laughs> okay. Got all of those done. I'm going to get my canner started. I should have already. And then I'm going to move on to cayenne peppers, making hot sauce. Okay, finished making some fermented hot sauce. My pickles are not yet hot enough. Yeah. Hello. And yeah, my pickles are not hot enough yet. They're getting there now. Mom, watch. What? He's going to turn it. Um, once he does the water thing, he's going to yeah. make it. 